What's up everyone, back with another unboxing. I guess it was kind of unboxed for myself. I'll show you the package, but let's do it. It's a new rod. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. It's all about the latest and greatest in bass fishing. New videos Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we're gonna tell you about a new rod from Academy. Now this is a kind of a long time in the making. I did a video a few weeks ago, oh, about a month ago now, uh, about a new reel. And with that was supposed to come a rod. So the first one, came like this. It's not a two-piece, they made it a two-piece. You can see that right there. This is a great postal service, had a note on there. It said defective tag, broken. So I was able to get another one. The next one came, the, it was also almost broken. The tube broke off, but we're gonna open it up. I haven't looked at it yet to see if it's actually broken or not. But here we go. This is one of the Evo rods to go with that Evo baitcaster and just kind of a follow-up on that I you know I, I did an unboxing of that as well hadn't spooled it or done anything I have fished it and it casts incredibly well It's still really smooth really really impressed with that Evo reel from Academy. It's a hundred bucks too So very good quality reel like I said in that initial video It's gonna depend on how it holds up though truthfully So maybe I'll do a video after a year to see if I still think it's good or if it's kind of a disposable real which a lot of them kind of are they last a couple years and they're not very good anymore so anyway back to the rod so it has the nice blue accents just like the the reel so this is a 7.3 medium heavy so this is kind of a do-it-all rod it looks has some really cool features on it honestly it's got the eva grips carbon tech handle you know it looks pretty impressive it looks like a much higher price rod it has great cosmetics Super light, is that real seed? It doesn't say any sort of brand on it. That's a little bit different than I'm used to. It's gonna pair nicely with that reel. Um, so this was in collaboration with Stetson Blaylock. I mentioned that in my other video. It's a new line. He each was designed with custom lengths and actions, covers all techniques, and tournament caliber performance at a great value. I like that. A one-piece, multi-modulus, IM8 graphite blank for lightweight strength and sensitivity. Like I said, it, it is really light. Durable and comfortable EVA foregrip and carbon fiber rear grip. The guides caught my attention when I was taking that plastic off, but they are not micro, but they're small. They actually call them a semi-micro. So I know that was the big trend years ago, uh, just everyone going to micro guides, but there are problems with a lot of micro guides. You know, one, if you ever fish in the cold, they freeze up way easier. And if you live in somewhere warm, no big deal, but they also, it's hard to get knots through if you do any braid to fluorocarbon. So these are semi-micro, so they're still gonna be really light. They're still small. There's a bunch of them on there too. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 guide system. So again, like it's, you really have to fish something to, to get the true feel for it. But just in my hands, I could tell it's a quality rod for about a hundred bucks. Really, really impressive. And that's, that's kind of a trend that we see in the fishing world across the board. Really good stuff, costs a lot less than it does. I mean, this is better than any rod I had 10 years ago, I, I promise you, or it's as good as them, and it's a third of the cost of what I paid even back then, those prices. So rods have come a long way. I'm gonna put that reel to match it up, fish it, and I'll give you guys a follow-up on both of them, but so far, so good. Really impressed. First look, H20X Evo. Looks solid. If you're And if you're buying Academy, check them out. They actually have a lot of cheaper models as well. I was in my Academy store recently. They didn't have any of these, but I looked at some of the other ones that were, you know, 59 bucks, 39 bucks, and they had really good deals. So really impressed with the Academy stuff. And I like shopping there, you know, just as not connected to them in any way, but I'm a big fan of it. We get all of our sporting goods there for my son's baseball. And I'm always looking at the fishing stuff. Very impressive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. I'm going to go fishing.